get a job up north uh, for a friend and on my way home I'm uh, stopping by a good pal of mine, Mark Skipper's house. Uh, he's got an insane collection of parts and cars and he's building some cool stuff. So uh, we're going to stop by there and uh, he's got a couple items for Tweety Pie. So I'm really excited to see him and, and his wife. Uh, Kelly, who's also also totally awesome, and um, just good people, really good people, and you'll remember Mark from the uh, original car that ate my brain. He helped Von Franco build the Lightning Bug clone, um, so it's cool. He, he's he's uh, contributing to this as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see his stuff. It's gonna be awesome. These two are the greatest. Make sure the box is off. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's mm -hmm. that. <laughs> the lab. Lab tort. Yeah. Uh. Why don't you tell us a little story about this car? Uh, West <laughs> Collins Tribute. Some call it a clone, but it's not a clone. It's a tribute. It's People who stay do out it. of clones have been there before. Yeah, clone cars are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> who you would gotta, have you any? You gotta get them too correct, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, but you're pretty obsessive, so I would say that it might be a clone because you. I mean. Well, I don't know how cloned it is. It's got cardboard upholstery, so that's not really what. Well, I mean, but Wes like had in the it, dash. Know? Oh God! <laughs> no, it's not a clone. Dude. Not a clone, it's even a not even close. Not even a. I mean, you know, you really. It's a tribute car. I mean, get the right stuff for it, dude. If you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the radio. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at that, there's well, that thing. And and look they, at those things. And they couldn't identify it because half the label was broke off. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, so Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know you say tribute. What the? But like, if it was a tribute, you'd have like Stuart Warner gauges. You probably wouldn't have yeah. that thing there. <laughs> yeah. Like, or that. Thing and down there. Like radio never, no one could ever. Yeah, have. like, yeah, or that. Like, yeah. Or these. Or those. I mean, just call it a clone, bro. <laughs> just call it a clone. What happened to the real one? Uh, nobody knows. Oh, really? Disappeared in about 1951. Huh. Well, it could be in a garage in Hollywood somewhere, and then if somebody finds it, it's like. I mean, how could that not be Win the lottery. Like how, I mean, that would have to be found. I mean, somebody would know, like. Well, through the grapevine, the guy, Al Marks, that had it after uh -huh. Wes Collins, which he did the top and painted it and all that, yeah. uh, filed bankruptcy and the car disappeared, so mm. it could be in the bottom of a lake. True. All right, tell us a little bit of the sedan you did a little bit, really quick. Yeah, it's almost done. It's not completely done yet, but it's getting there. Yeah. The Roadster kind of shuffled Derailed it. around. Yeah. It's a really nice, really nice sedan. Yeah, it is. See, it was a good, it was like a nice sedan, and then you just kind of did a yeah. bunch of stuff to it. Uh, it was an elderly guy I got it from, and he got cancer. Yeah. And so he made me a deal on it, and I told him what I was going to do with it. He goes, absolutely. It's your right. car now, so... So it does soften them. Oh, it's dope. And of course, we all know and this. This green thing. We all know this piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> Still looking fine, as it should. A little Phaeton project. Australian. Australian, of course. Yep. My, my other brothers. Mm hmm. And then the good old, since we're on the subject of tea buckets. Yeah. And look, we got really nice new hubcaps. You know, when you talk about Tweety Pie or the Kooky car or your Ivo's T, another car that usually comes up in that conversation is Mark Skipper's T. Mark built this several years ago, finding all the original parts that it once had on it, and it's basically one of my favorite T's that has been built in the past, you know, 25 years. I've loved this car for so long, and it's always awesome to see it in person. Hopefully, we can go cruising someday. Yeah, see, like that's the shape they're in. 
Yeah, that's the ones. Okay. Yeah, there's another one. Are you sure? Yeah. No, dude, I got five of them. Well, you can pick the best ones. You know what I mean? Send you a PayPal. Hey. <laughs> Here, just make a pile. Actually, that's the, probably the nicer than any of them. Yeah, it's the only one I have, so. All right, I'll tell you again. Yeah, if that'll help you. Always helps, dude. You never know how the one's gonna fly off a freeway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then some valve covers. And an a is there an axle too, isn't there involved? Yeah, you have an axle on here. Is it the incorrect one? Yeah, no, it's the right one, but I was it's all bent up. Oh. But it I have some it's under there. It's under there. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Genuine one. Oh. 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 Um, Grassy Speed Shop. I told mm -hmm. him what you were needing, and he, he hooked me up on these for another trade. So it was yeah. kind of, kind of both of us kind of helping you out. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks to him too. Yeah. That's really you awesome. Give him a mention because he was the one. That... Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Throw that in the bag. Yeah. And I'll grab the. Jenny yeah. Got a new axle. Got a steering column and an axle, and I love this guy with all my heart. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Thanks again for everything. Drive safe. Thank you. Will do. Your parts mean a lot. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>
is the 2829 doesn't have as much of a kickback as the 3031 does. I already cut it. I forgot to film it, but I already cut it. So you can see how this one like leans way back and this one kind of leans forward and then back. So my plan was just to kind of heat it up and bend it. But later looking on, it's kind of got a whole different shape to it. Okay, so these are the three main ingredients to making this wacky headlight stand. So I just cut this piece off. And basically what it is, is it just like swoops back. Then this piece kind of goes like that, sort of straight up. And then this piece kind of, side view of it, kind of just dangles off like that. It's kind of a weird, so yeah, it's bow, bow, bow probably did it a different way but this is the what I think what it looks like it's kind of that's the thing you have to kind of reverse reverse engineer kind of things but um it looks right from all the photos and comparisons I've done um so yeah let's get to it So here it is. I kind of tacked everything together, um, kind of on the car, off the car. I had to take it apart and put it back together. Still got to finish it. It's going to get chromed, so it's going to go through a whole bunch of finishes. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty close. So I ended up doing a, two of them while I was hot on the on my trail. So I got them pretty close. That was kind of a pain too, is getting them getting them lined up. Um, but they're pretty close. It's okay if they're a little off um, or whatever, you know, kind of homemade, because this car was, well, it's hell. This car was um, built in a, in a garage, so I don't mind just kind of welding it shitty and getting it kind of close enough eyeballing it, but I mean, it's pretty close, I think. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna mount this one and uh, just kind of throw the grill on and put the other headlight on and see if we're even close. All right, so I got both of them done and rolled the car out to get a kind of look. They're pretty close. So I got my shocks mounted. Next thing we're going to work on is the two gas tank mounts that hold the gas tank up on the rear. Lucky made these and he had just tack welded them, so I'm going to go ahead and finish welding them up. So these are the uh, gas tank mounts that Lucky made. Uh, they're just kind of tacked all together, so i just been working on that. Cleaned up the frame a little bit. I got some welding to do on it, but uh, yeah, it's kind of the finished product. But this is what it kind of does. It just kind of holds the tank. It's welded to the frame uh, and it just kind of becomes part of the frame. So I finished welding it and grinding and smoothing and now it looks like that. And that's where we're at. I've been uh, kind of just going around and working my way around the whole car to uh, fill all the holes in the frame. The frame had a bunch of holes in it. Um, so just been kind of working my way around the car and now I'm over here. You see I had a lot of holes to fill. Two of those were for the shock mounts. Um, and then there's a bunch up here and only two of these are for the headlight stands. So this thing was, had tons of, tons of holes in it. 
all the way around. So I've just been slowly like welding up, just going around and welding up the holes. Nothing too exciting. Just trying to make it nice. All right, so right now I just, um, I'm just tacking in this little piece in the frame. Um, just this little piece of flat bar to kind of square off the front of the frame. Um, unfortunately, when we used the uh, two sides bent in, they had a taper to them. And so it was leaving a big gap beneath that thing. Like under here, there's like a big gap. So since it like went from thick to thin, I kind of just straightened it out. I'll weld it in and that'll be like square at least. It'll look cool. Well, that was a fun few weeks working on the car. We got the body welded up, got all the holes and stuff welded up on the frame, and got those headlight stands done. It's really taking shape now and starting to look like Tweety Pie. I'm super excited. We're moving right along, so stay tuned. See you on the next one.